All right, what's going on, guys? Um, and more Battlefield 3 beta footage, like promised. Gotta, you know, like the Battlefield. And uh, yeah, we got some rush, you know. I'm not pretty sure Metro. We already knew that though, so I don't know why we're talking about it. But uh, this is defense. Uh, this is one of uh, a Pacific defense game that I saved because we held them at the first base, and it was rather impressive because I think this is one of the only times where we actually held the team at the first base. Of course, I'm using my medic kit. Love the medic kit. Uh, so I don't even call it the medic. I don't even know why. It's a medic kit. Why do they call it assault? It's a medic kit. I'm um, using that, uh, of course, I uh, love that, with my AK, and with the, I, th I unlock quite a few attachments actually this game for it, so, we kind of switch them up a little bit, as we unlock them, we put, we put them on, and, uh, get, I get, an, I go on a nice little tear later on in the video, I, why did I say video, in the game, with this gun, and I'm honestly disappointed I stopped using this gun, I love this gun, I don't know why I don't use it anymore, but, you know, you gotta get out there, um, I have a couple UMP, game uh, little clips that I might I don't know if I'm going to put together for a video or if I'm just going to put music behind it or if we're not going to do anything with it but uh, we've got some UMP stuff for that, look at that double kill UMP gameplay for that um, what else, UMP gameplay we have a good attack game where I think we burn through the whole bases in a couple, in like 15 minutes but we're obviously going to have to shorten the clips I finally got I'm finally, I finally realized, uh, this sounds good, I finally found out how to shorten all the clips up in Vegas and make them all the way I wanted, so, uh, pretty excited about that. That is something that, I don't know, I wasn't expected to go down, and it's really frustrating, actually. I don't like how, how it, how I have to do it, but now that I know what I'm doing, it's a lot easier, because I won't make the same mistake I did the first time, but, you know, so right here they plan it, we get in there right away, right off the bat defuse it. See, there's a guy there. There's a, right over here by this base, there's a, a ton of glitches where you can hide in the ground and stuff, or, and it, it's just ridiculous, but it's a bad thing, you know, they don't have all the problems fixed and or addressed, but they will be all fixed and addressed, give it, and you give it some time. You just gotta give them time. You gotta be patient. Remember, this isn't the real game. It's, look at what the game's gonna bring and be like. And honestly, in all honest opinion, it's it's going to be a good game. But like I said, this is no dissing to COD or anything like that because COD's a different game. We said that already, and we you just got to move on with your life, okay? You can play both games. I play both games. Well, you can play one or the other. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you like playing and whatever fits your play style. I'm an aggressive player, so that's one of the reasons why I like Call of Duty. But you know, we'll we'll talk about the Call of Duty and the way I play in a Call of Duty video, not in a Battlefield video. But in Battlefield, the, my whole Call of Duty thing with rushing carries over to where I, I enjoy rushing and getting all over. I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. Getting um, all around the map, I guess you could say. I don't know. Just getting up in the map, getting up in their face. But usually it equals out to a lot of deaths. But sometimes it equals out to a lot of kills. And it actually sometimes helps the, the team in a way. But I, I can never just sit back in one spot and not move. It's... It's just not um, who I am. And one more thing, guys. Uh, one thing: if you're using the medic kit, revive people. Throw the ammo. Uh, ammo. I mean, the health packs down. It helps. You'd be surprised. You get a lot of points when you strap down that health pack and you are, uh, are giving people health, and you get a hundred points for reviving someone. So you basically get just uh, if you it, it's a it's a kill basically. You're basically getting a, a kill when you revive someone. So it's actually uh, it's actually a really good um, really good deal. That's a real problem, the guy in the bush right there. And look at this, you've been promoted. I can't read what that says, but yeah, promotion. And we got the silencer now, look at that silencer in red dot. Just unlock the silencer, and I think, yeah, this is where I go on my little, my tear. My little epic kill streak in their spawn, and, well, not really in their spawn. They, at least they don't let you deep in their spawn, they let you in the front of their spawn, but not in, not deep into the spawn, but still, with, oh, you can probably hear the phone ringing. The phone's ringing. Wait. No, it says you can, but you probably can. So we'll just say the phone's ringing, and that's what that obnoxious beeping noise is in the background. So, continuing on, this guy's head glitching. <laughs> that's called a detainer there. You can't head glitch in this game, or can you? But, um, of course, the... the Okay, de let's talk about um, defense on Operation Metro. What you want to do is you want to control the strong points. That rock is a strong point. You want to have a couple people... 
on that rock so they can stop the forces coming up this walkway and the uh, left of the spawn. Another key, uh, key area is the right side over here. You can go... I found it successful actually when I was playing. I th I was doing this more of a, a solo run right here. Where I'm the, I just went up the, this right side around the concrete. And I got quite a few kills over there. But I have Sam moving away from there right now. But we'll go back. Of course, you, I don't like the whole bushes thing. How you can sit in the bushes. Um, and, it, and like it's hard to like distinct. Uh, distinct. That's a bad word. It's hard to distinguish where you're at. You can't really like see the people that are in there. But you want to see. If you can, maybe if you can push up and get like a couple people on this rock up here. That is very crucial tool. Very crucial. Crucial. I don't even know. I said crucial too. I said it again. Um, two because um, you then you can uh, hold them down before they even get close to the other rock. And then if people die on this rock, then you've got the other rock to back you up. And that's basically how you defend uh, this. This uh, I don't even know what that bomb. I think it's. I want to say B bomb. But I'm not sure exactly what bomb it is. But that's how you keep that bomb in under your can uh, under your control. And I don't. I thought I went over to the other side of the map, but I guess I didn't. But where I was before, you want to either push up there or just establish a good perimeter around the bomb. Because really, honestly, there's not many places to go over there. There's like they're, they're not even spawning towards that side of the map, I guess you could say. But like, and there's a good example of what happens when you just go full auto on them. See how look? There's no recoil when you're going full auto, but it's hard to control the. I guess you could say it's hard to control the gun, and you have um, only 31 shots to you know, make or break whatever you're trying to do. And see, if you run back here between these two spots, you're going to pick off guys that are running over the bridge and that are running over here. There's always people that are running over here, even with there only being 12 players on a team. I prefer it, honestly, over uh, a lot of players because I know right here, see, I hate this. They need to fix this. They either to make it able for people not to, they can't, they shouldn't be able to kill me if I can't kill them. Did you see, if you saw what happened, I killed someone, and then the, their squad mate spawned in on them, and I couldn't kill him. Which is ridiculous, because he's there, he spawned in, I should be able to kill him. But then he kills me, when I clearly had the upper hand and was shooting at him before he shot at me. That's something they need to fix. Either they make it so you can't spawn on someone after a certain time, or they do something to where that's, you can't do that. Where they can't spawn in, or I can at least get the kill. And you just get sprayed. You can't kill me. I'm invincible. Uh, no, I'm not invincible, I'm just... I'm just black. And so here we go. We got another site for this gun. Uh, that's, uh, I, they got to fix this one. That's happened to me so many times in the beta. Maybe it's just a beta glitch. Maybe it's uh, just a problem they're having. But, I mean, uh, to be honest, they need to fix that. That's, like, one of the things that have really been bothering me as of the beta. I haven't really had much complaints except over by the one bomb where the people can go in the ground and then they sit there. That's really frustrating, but... Not really like a, a killer pain. And here we go. We got this is the site with even when you burst fire with it has barely any recoil. And it's a good site. And I think you can get it for all the guns. I'm not sure. I've only used certain guns. But hey, look at that spawn ribbon. I like how they, they let you um, find it. They've made it easy for you to get points by just doing simple things. or You know like everything you do basically can get you some points. And it's really fun because then it's easy to rank up and everything. Um, the quality, I pumped up the recording, uh, not the recording quality, the editing quality, because this is outdoors, and these settings are a little bit better for outdoor gameplay. So, with that being said, this is the ba Battlefield 3 beta on Xbox. We won, and the final score, I think, was 20 and 8. Amazing defense, we held them, and I was really shocked. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later.